Today, during the final days of Sexual Assault Month, I'm pleased to sign an executive order aimed at helping individuals and children live a free, life free of sexual assault and domestic violence. Our charge is to improve prevention, enhance support, and demand accountability for perpetrators to ensure that they can no longer hurt others. First, this executive order establishes a governor's council to address sexual assault and domestic violence. The council will be elevated to the governor's office and chaired by the lieutenant governor. Its goal will be to identify and recommend best practices for handling sexual assault and domestic violence issues, setting annual goals to track our progress. By no November of this year, this council will deliver a series of recommendations, including suggestions about how we can prevent homelessness for victims of sexual assault and domestic violence through both physical and economic security. Our hope is to bridge the gap between services and agencies and to ensure that they can work collaboratively to support our survivors. It is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, but let's not let our awareness end. And let's think about the broader continuum um, of this issue. Remember that sexual assault and domestic violence truly does span a continuum from birth until death. When you think about the fact that 44% of victims of rape or sexual assault experience that before the age of 18, you know we have work to do.